Hello, I am Chief Judge Mary Ellen Barbera of the Maryland Court of Appeals. One of the judiciary's top priorities is to communicate effectively with court visitors, court staff, and the general public. Throughout this unprecedented period, we have worked to keep you informed. Since March, you have likely received information about how the Maryland judiciary has responded to the COVID-19 public health emergency. Perhaps you have seen previous video messages like this one, local news reports, or announcements and orders on the Maryland judiciary or local court websites. I hope these videos have been useful as we continue to navigate the COVID-19 health emergency. Even as the state was forced to shut down in March, the courts did not close. Emergency operations continued so that urgent matters could be heard or addressed, providing access to justice for those in need. In June, I announced the judiciary's gradual return to full operations during the COVID-19 emergency. The judicial branch has moved deliberately and carefully through this phased resumption of operations. We have monitored positivity rates and incorporated the health protocols urged by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Like you, judges and court personnel in Maryland's state courts have adjusted to the safety protocols as they were developed during the COVID-19 pandemic. On October 5th, the courts will enter phase five in which the circuit courts will resume jury trials. This will mark the resumption of full operations. But let me be clear, the COVID-19 emergency continues and health protocols will remain in place until the CDC and Maryland Department of Health tell us it is safe to do otherwise. Trial by jury is one of the foundations of our justice system. It is a right guaranteed by the United States Constitution and the Maryland Declaration of Rights. And serving on a jury is a responsibility of all citizens. Jury trials require the assembly of large groups of citizens in order to allow the selection of an impartial jury. Doing this responsibly while safeguarding due process is a complex challenge that the leaders of the circuit courts have worked hard to meet. The courthouses of our 24 circuit courts are all different. Each circuit court has had to develop a plan for jury trials that would work for that court. Like the preparations for each of the previous phases, much work has been done to ready the circuit courts across Maryland for jury trials. I have noted in previous messages that resumption of operations does not mean business as usual for the Maryland judiciary. Courtrooms look different with plexiglass shields and distance seating in courtrooms. The new courtroom layouts are among the many measures the judiciary has employed to limit the risk of COVID-19 transmission. If you are called to serve on a jury, please give yourself plenty of time to travel to the courthouse or alternative assembly location, pass through a security screening station, including completing the health screening, and report to the designated jury assembly location or courtroom at the time stated on your summons or in other communications from the court. Those called for jury service can be assured that we will continue to safeguard as much as we reasonably can the health of the public, including jurors, judiciary personnel, and justice partners. As a reminder, the Maryland Judiciary is requiring every individual, including employees, seeking access to a courthouse or court office location to answer a set of screening questions, to be subject to no contact temperature checks, wear a mask, and to practice social distancing. Although our practices necessarily have changed, the courts will continue to work to serve the people of Maryland to ensure fair and efficient access to justice. 
Please continue to be diligent by following all of the recommended health department and Centers for Disease Control guidelines. On behalf of the Maryland Judiciary, I thank you. I thank you for your patience and understanding during this extraordinary time.